a lot of rappers still it seems like want to be Tupac. They want to have his popularity. They want people to love them like they everyone loves him. But why do you think no one's succeeding? <laughs> well, because I, this is what they fail to realize about Tupac. In order for them to be Tupac, they would have to die before they peaked. Right before they peaked, they would have to die. So if you don't like, you don't die. You, you can't do it. Bottom line, if you don't go die. You're not gonna be the next two five, cause it ain't gonna be the next two five. Straight up. When we do, we take your money to the bank, cause this is all in the paper. Bitches be catching papers and uh, Clinton couldn't fucking save us. Crazy thing is that when he was locked up, me and Richie Rich was tight, you know. I used to come, yeah, yeah, I used to come all the way from all the way from LA to, to over to up to the bay. Me and him just used to ride around in big our trucks and shit, skirting, you know, doing crap shit, having fun, tearing up the town. Right. You know, and um and uh him and Pac used to talk a lot on the phone, writing letters, talking and everything. So he was telling me about what was going on with him. So I told Rich, I said, You tell Tupac I'm gonna bail his ass out. Oh, wow. So I was going to put the money. I didn't give a fuck about signing. You ain't got to do shit. You just want to Give help. me a verse. That's it. You know, but I just wanted him to get out because I felt for him. You know, that shit was fucked. Yeah. Got beat to the punch. Wow. You know, should have got him out. You know, I wish I could have got him out. And, you know, it, he'd have been doing his own thing free. At this time, Suge was still like a love CEO this time. Yes, right? indeed. Because Boy, it's Pac. That's a touchy situation. That's my little brother. Love him still, still today. He never wants to leave death row. He wasn't fucking with you niggas. Warren G, that stop lying. You didn't fuck with Pac and Pac didn't fuck with- This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. You didn't write your album. All my artists who signed to my publishing wrote your album. Let's keep this to a thousand. On top of that, you can take care of yourself. How are you gonna get Pac out of prison? Yo, YouTube, what up? It's your homie Gab, I'm in the building, and this is Machiavelli Media. Hey, yo, Suge Knight is buck wildin' out this motherfucker. <laughs> Suge Knight is saying any and everything he want to say right goddamn now. Straight up. Putting motherfuckers on blast, letting his nuts hang, Straight shitting on dudes. Real, real growlic, like real ball burying, like you got this Suge Knight Collect Call podcast that just came out a few days ago, and there's people definitely on this shit list. I mean, from Dion Sanders, the the mob James, he ain't sparing no feelings. He's saying exactly what it is he want to say about motherfuckers, like and what. That's how I should carry it right now. Big should carry it like that. And he came at Warren G. And I'm like, yo, Warren G seemed like such a nice dude. Like, who the fuck got something bad to say about Warren G, right? You never see Warren G really fuck with nobody. He don't talk about people like that. He ain't never caught up in no messy bullshit. It's just like Warren G just like Warren G, right? Couldn't be a more chill individual. But no, they ain't stop. They ain't stop Suge Knight at all. See, Warren G did Drink Champs a little while ago. And he talked about how he was kicking it with Biggie one day. And Biggie was telling him he, he don't know what's wrong with Pac. Pac tripping on him. And, you know, it ain't him. It's Tupac. So he was like, yo, I'm a... I could have hollered at Tupac. I was trying to get at Tupac. I was going to squash the whole thing, right? And he was saying there was so many niggas in Tupac's ear, he couldn't really get at him like he wanted to, right? He talked about how he wished he could have bailed Tupac out of jail. He was thinking about doing it, and when he was going to go to do it, then, you know, Suge swooped in and got Pac out. Then in the same interview on Drink Champs, he told this story how he almost bust his gun at Suge and his goons, right? Because they was about to jump him. They took his jewelry from him, and he had to skate out of there, and his uncle had to help him get his jewelry back. All types of shit, right? See, Suge hear all these things. He hear it, and somebody gave Suge a microphone, 
And God damn it, he responded to everything. <laughs> he heard you and he talked and he got something to say about it. But the way shit going about it is very, very disrespectful. To Warren G, just jump straight in. Nigga, you lying. Tupac ain't like you. You ain't like Tupac, nigga. You couldn't bail nobody out. You couldn't take care of yourself. You you wasn't going to sign no. You know, you know how shit came at him. Y'all heard it. He, you heard what the brother had to say, right? But Warren G took the Instagram and spoke his piece. And he basically said, look, dude, all your dog pound shit came through me. From Snoop, the Daz, the Nate, everybody. That came through me. Then he said, I wasn't one of your artists. I wasn't on no, no allowance. Nigga, I was signed to Def Jam. I had a hit record. I was buying houses and cars and shit. So what you mean I ain't had no money? But he didn't really address the Tupac situation. By all accounts, Juan G said several times that he liked Tupac. Even said that Tupac was his first real mainstream artist that gave him a shot at being a producer. Definition of a thug nigga. And, you know, with MC Breed and Pac, gotta get yours, gotta get mine. So he was very appreciative to, you know, uh, what Tupac did for him. I mean, every time I see that footage of Tupac freestyling and bouncing and shit, him and Warren G looked like they was having fun, man. You can't tell me they wasn't cool at one point in time, right? But Warren G admitted during that Drink Champ interview that Tupac was different after he signed with Death Row. He said he spoke to him on the phone and, and Tupac was serious. You know, wasn't really the same person, so to speak. And it just made me wonder, man, you know, um, did Pac and Warren G fall out with each other in some type of capacity. Cause think about it for a minute. Juan G is related to Dr. Dre, either they step brothers or half brothers. It's some relation to Dre, right? With Juan G. And we all know that Dre and Tupac fell out with each other over the whole death row shit, right? And you can't tell me the brothers don't talk. This nigga did that. This nigga did this. So it had to be, you know, something for Suge to say that. And, you know, Suge is the type of dude that'll play mind games. Like, you'll know, you'll never know the exact answer to what he's saying because Tupac not here. So he done put that in Warren G's head now. Like, yo, Pac ain't fuck with you. You know what I mean? So now, you know, that'll make a man feel foolish. You giving somebody high praise and, you know, and um, saying fun things about him. And somebody to come along and say, yo, that nigga ain't fuck with you. That's kind of that's kind of wild right there. But um, tell me what you think, man. Is Shook Knight out of pocket? for how he coming at dudes doing this uh, Collect Call podcast. And I'm going to be talking about this shit all week because, boy, did Suge say a mouthful. I mean, is Suge wrong? Imagine Suge did hear something behind the scenes. Maybe Pac said something, you know, in regards to how he felt the boat. Juan G to him. Is Suge wrong for putting that out there? He could have just left shit like it was, right? Or is Suge right because he feel like a lot of dudes is just like eating off of like that past relationship with Tupac and that relationship might have already been over with. You feel me? Is that Suge's place to try to put people on blast? Tell me what y'all think. Leave your thoughts in the comments section. Don't forget to sub to the channel. This is Machiavelli Media. Turn on them post notifications so you'll be the first ones to get it when I drop that shit. Look down right now. And make sure you gave this video a thumbs up. Keep telling you thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. I need that. Oh, yeah. And don't forget to sub to the channel. Because this is Machiavelli Media. And I'm your homie Gab. It's been a pleasure as always. I'm signing off. I'm about to hit y'all. 
with the peace.